Hi, I'm Amy Feldman. And I'm Mara Allen. And welcome to Cal Babes. Welcome. <laughs> um, today, we want to welcome Ian from Arrested Youth. Come on down in next time on Cal Babes. All right. Yeah. Well, can we hug? Is this, is this coaster I, during this, this time? Yeah, we'll get comments yes. to say it wasn't. But yes, okay. I know. We'll, we'll hug it up. We'll show I some, think, well, some we all got tested right before the podcast. So, you know, we'll get our results tomorrow. <laughs> Just in time. Just in time. No, really, we're cool. How are you guys? We're great. We're good, yeah. Ian. Can I sit like? I had to ask seat? him how old he was if he was allowed. To well, I thought the same thing. I was like, Amy, I don't know. He's twenty six. Twenty six. Twenty six. I know. Yes. Oh, I know. yes. Well, that's good. Yeah. You know, right. Ian. Let's yeah. get started here. Okay. All right. So, uh, tell us where you're from. Tell us a little bit about you. Yeah. So I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. Do I do I look here? Do I look here? Yeah. Louisville. I have friends. Louisville. Really? We're in Louisville. I don't know. Wait, it's not I've Louisville? There. No, it's Louisville. Like you have marbles in your mouth. Yes. Louisville. That's how you know someone's not from Louisville when they say Louisville. Louisville. I don't even know if I could say it. Yeah. Louisville. 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 Maybe I need marbles. Louisville. I need marbles. And maybe oh. I could say it. Hold on, I got some marbles rolling around up here somewhere. <laughs> but Louisville. Louisville. <laughs> It's like it's like two of these deep, and you say a little bit. Okay, so maybe at the end I'll slur. try it again. It's a slur. I'll, I'll try, try it again. again at the end. Yeah. But is is what other people call Louisville? Yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm talking about the same place. Same place. Because I feel like our friend Jen's from Louisville. Oh no, she's from Louisville. <laughs> you have it. You have it, Louisville. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll get there. Okay. I might even be happy. She had more than me. Okay. All right. Okay. Is that, so that's not water, is it? This is tea. Okay. We tea drink time. tea on, does it? on I, camera. Yeah, right. Yes. Tea. 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 Okay. It's great. Okay, so we know where you're from. Yep. Even though I can't say it. Mm -hmm. Okay, go on. <laughs> and now I am living in your guest room. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> in Calabas sauce. In Calabas sauce. <laughs> <laughs> but at the end of the episode, this it'll be called Calabasas. Called... You'll be yeah, able right. to say it. Yes, yes, right. exactly. Just right. don't take the marbles out, and then you can say it. <laughs> <laughs> then you'll, you'll be able to say it, exactly. So, yes, he actually has been living in, because um, he's doing a record with my husband, John Feldman. He's in a band called Arrested Youth, and he's the singer, and he's here recording. And so he's been staying here, and you're not going to believe who sleeps with him every night. I bet I have a guess, and it's one of two. And they are very hairy. <laughs> it's not John. <laughs> no, that's not John. And it's probably Zeus because I think Mochi was is like sleeps on your head. Sleeps so, on my head. Yep. so that she's not gonna leave that. She's not gonna give Amy a break. No. She's gonna sleep on her head. So I'm guessing Zeus. And Tell me I'm right. Night Aww. waits for him, or if the door is open, he's in there already in bed. Uh, he's like, Come on, but honey. On the bed all night long. Oh, yeah. You know how big he is. He's, he's bigger huge. than him. Yeah. I hope that is a big bed. It, it's a queen. It works. <laughs> Where it works. It's just stay on your couple. side, Zeus. Yeah. Do you sleep on the left or the right? I sleep on the left. Okay. And he picked the right. So he picked the side that I would he hope told someone you else would sleep. Yeah. 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 But it worked out. It was the side I would have chosen anyways. Okay, that's good. Yeah. But, but even when we're home, he still chooses to sleep with Ian. Oh, yeah. see, that's the thing. Because we were away, which was my point, is what before was we were away, and so he was sleeping in bed with him. But now that we're back, he's still he's like still sleeping enough. with Ian. Oh, I know. Yeah. Well, would be they you, they got a dog. They might adopt you. You don't know. You don't know. <laughs> what's gonna happen here like you I'm might have to house. stay just right. to sleep with Zeus. <laughs> that or I, I don't know how John feels about. It. I can't tell if he's he's happy to have a break from Zeus or he's slightly offended. Oh, I don't think he cares because Zeus doesn't sleep in bed. <laughs> yeah, with us. no mochi. Okay. That's emoji. Emoji, that's another story. Yeah. Yeah, he might be a little upset about that. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes, he would. <laughs> I mean, probably wouldn't be here still. So. Okay, so I have a question. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Arrested. Have you been arrested? I, I, I haven't, actually. Okay, so who has been arrested? Who picked the name of the band? Uh, I picked the name. Okay. Uh, but again, 
no no arrests. No and arrests. then you questioned me when I asked you if you could have a drink. I was like, wait, how old are you? That's right. True. That's true. So, so maybe I maybe I've I've come close a couple. Okay, times. so are you gonna show us your real ID or your fake ID? <laughs> um if I had either, I would show you either. Okay. But I think either way you guys would think it was a fake ID. It might be. I maybe don't know. I, we're not ID experts though. No. I don't know. Back in the day. But anyway, he does look very young. He does yeah. look very healthy. <laughs> yes. And I'm gonna blame that all on your dad. Yeah. Oh, you have a healthy dad. My he's fairly healthy. Yeah, he's in alternative holistic oh. uh, medicine. So my dad is too. Oh, cool. Okay. okay. I need you to be two peas in a pod. I'll just sit here while you guys to chat. Yeah. So many go. questions. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. What? What? Uh, what is your dad? She grew doing? up in a TP. You want me to sum it up really quick? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> She loves that part, okay? Anyone who <laughs> has not tuned in before to Calabay. Hippieville over here. She what? loves to just t- tell everybody I lived mouth? in a teepee. And yes, I did. But I also had a house. Like, my parents weren't, they divorced, so I had the house. And she I lives the in teepee, a house now. And I currently. And what are you grateful for? I'm grateful for many things. And one of them is uh, my holistic upbringing. So, oh, me too. That's, yes, we're, that's a, definitely a connection. There. You yeah. are also grateful. Yes. That. <laughs> I'm very grateful that my dad. Nope. Was... Nope. 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 No. Come on. Get it out. Get Amy, it out. Amy, stop. Stop. We're going to have to cut all this out of this episode. <laughs> I'm not saying it. <laughs> Josh, cut. <laughs> Just go back. <laughs> I'll tell you that story later. Okay. That's an off camera. That's an off camera. Yeah. I'll sit here and drink. Go ahead. Just drink. <laughs> Anyways. How, how many of those mugs did you guys get made? Can people buy those on, online? Or? Eventually. 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 So we nice. got to make them a hot commodity first. Yeah. Yeah, I think they are already. Everybody would want one. I think, yeah. I like that. Right? Them. I would well, do you like when they go together? Well, drink it says out of that too. Calibabes. That's cool. I know. I know. That's very cool. Because we're cool. I like it. We like that. We like, I like that. it. It's yeah. tasteful. Mm, we're drinking Kool Aid. <laughs> the right one, though. The right flavor. Um, anyways, yes. To that, yeah. I agree with the holistic upbringing. Uh-huh. I'm very grateful for that. So we'll get to the grateful things at the end of the show. That's surprise, but I'm giving you a little hint ahead of time. Start thinking of three things. Okay. <laughs> Will, <laughs> but uh, tell me who's your dad? My dad, his name is his name is Stephen. No, Steven. it's Doctor. Doctor, well, Doctor Johnson is actually yeah. That's how I guess that's what my Doctor Johnson. Okay, <laughs> is this Johnson and Johnson? Like uh, you know, I don't no, know what's I don't happening think, here. I, don't think I need a guest room if it's Johnson and Johnson. <laughs> I was like, you're adopting him, okay? Doctor you know, Johnson. I will. <laughs> okay, so Doctor Johnson needed something else too. Uh, it could. Dirty. Dirty. <laughs> I, you know, I, I, I'm not a hippie. I can't get into this, like, you know. Okay, so holistic in what way? Is he, like, homeopathic? Homeopathic, is he herbalist? Remedies, okay. medicine. Yeah, he, he, he fuses the two together. So he, I guess, growing up, it was interesting because he, half of his study is in, like, Western traditional medicine and then half is in holistic. So he kind of brings both the worlds together. Okay, um, where is he? Because cool. I'm going there. He's now back in upstate <laughs> you know. New York. No, they moved. To, they moved to New York when I when I graduated. College. Oh, something I can say. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I can New pronounce York. that. New York. So they're upstate. Okay. In, in New York. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he has a clinic out there now. That is yeah. super cool. Okay, yeah. so it's all like herbs to fix things and some, but he's he's still reasonable. Like I remember growing up as a kid, if there were times that we really needed something, like an antibiotic. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, antibiotic. My dad was too. Yeah, yeah. He he like he he really he had a good balance it was a really good blend okay. um so yeah I'm, I'm thankful for that and i've never i've never gone to a doctor in my life like a, a doctor's well, appointment so because so. i have dr johnson yeah so yeah that's pretty cool i'm kind of the same with my dad he had like the big drawer he would pull out and he would get out the pendulum oh wow and he would he would like you tell him what your ailment was and because you know he was had never studied probably western medicine mm-hmm. so he was probably like still more in the uh you know, that era. So he'd get the pendulum, he'd put the homeopathic remedy, and then he would hold the pendulum, and which way it swung would say whether or not that's what you should use. Oh, wow. On you. On me. I would hold the homeopathic remedy. Right. And he would do the pendulum. So that's like kind of the same thing when they do the, the muscle yes, testing. Exactly. Okay. Got exactly. It. That's, that's incredible. Yeah. My dad's not that holistic. Yeah. But he's, still, he's, he's in that. that mindset. And yeah. I think that makes yeah. a big difference because if you're in the mindset of, 
pharmaceuticals, that's the first thing you're going to think of. But if you're in the mindset of like, okay, how can I heal holistically? And then, okay, something else I have to do. We'll go there. But right. let's start, you know. Did you, really, did you really grow up in D.C.? I- <laughs> That's all I've been thinking. That's all. That's the word that stuck out to me. For the past it always sticks out to me too. So I, I talk about it all the time yes. because I'm like, well, that was your TP days. That was the TP days. Uh, yes, but the TP wasn't even with your dad. No, the TP was with my mom. Okay, but she was always just a very free spirit, and um, she was more like she always said, "We're nomads because okay. like we travel. Like gypsies were thieves, but nomads traveled." So shout out to mom. Thank you for taking me traveling all over the place when I was little, because it's true. I I don't think anyone had quite the <laughs> upbringing that I did. Um, she would just kind of like. When it started raining too much, we'd like pack up the teepee and we'd go traveling. So wow. did you not, guys have a not car? Head or for shelter? Yeah, okay. no, we had a car okay. and we'd just go like visit friends and like stay with them and like hang out and just, wow. you know, come back around. And my dad was always there, stable. So I had like, you know, a half a year of school usually every year. Okay. <laughs> what what was your favorite place to set your teepee down and what? Uh, well, Matilla Hawk Canyon. Where's that? It's in Ojai, which okay. is where I'm from, okay. Ojai, California. Okay, yeah. Were you uh, born in a hospital? No. <laughs> you don't know this, really. Have you ever told me? I don't know, maybe. And I forgot? I don't I think so. Don't where were you born? Where was it a kiddie pool? Is it a kiddie pool? It wasn't a kiddie No, it was not a... <laughs> well, here's the funny story. Okay, because any... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I knew it. Here, wait, wait, who are we interviewing here? <laughs> Who's the guest on the show? I don't think it was me. I want to know about surprise, you. Surprise, show. surprise. We're it's me and, inter- me and Ian you interviewing you. Me. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I was born on Chanticleer I need, Street. I need some more tea for this one. I think you do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. This one fix you. It fix me up, girl. They have a lemon one? Well, this is White Claw. Oh, uh, yeah. Gonna- Oh, yeah. that is I have. Fun. I tried. I've, okay. I've never had the watermelon. I don't. I usually tend to like the citrus flavors. So mm. truly is truly my drink of choice. But I already drank off this one, so I can't. I see. Yeah. Oh my god! Pause. This is a nice pause. I like it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I. I got so a... sidetracked. What? I'm gonna really recover. You feel? I got so sidetracked. I brought snacks. Oh wow. Oh my god. Oh wow. Thank you. Swedish fish. I love Swedish fish. Wait, and Swedish how, fish. One of my favorite get these candies. All stuck in our teeth. That's so nice of you, Amy. Thank you. It'll go, yeah, I, wow. I totally I'm gonna, I'm gonna take one more of those. Thank you. They're they're for you. They're amazing. Are you a fan of these? I love Swedish fish. Okay. My daughter loves uh, my them mom too. See, the two hippies didn't grow up with this good stuff like I, know. I did. I was like, I don't know if I've had a Swedish fish, but maybe I have. I'll, I'll just be the bowl holder. Isn't that good? You know what I like? If I'm ever going to have a candy, it's going to be a sweet, like the sweet tart. Like it has to be tart. Too much right. sweet. Yeah. I'm like a citrus tarty kind of girl. Okay. You are tart. I am very tart. <laughs> Do not call me sweet, okay? I'm tart, not sweet. Don't call me a tart. <laughs> okay, you can continue. I just forgot about my bowl of fish here. Mm, that's delicious. Yeah. Okay. So where were we? Thank you. you That's good. No, I'm going to. I'll I'll, I'll eat the whole thing. I'm good. That's what I'm here for. Okay, go on with your hippie conversation. Yeah, what were we talking about? So, oh, hi. Mm. What was your favorite place? Oh, no. Oh, no, no. I know where we were. We were where you were born in the kiddie pool. Oh, there was no kiddie pool involved. Okay. Okay, go ahead. I was actually born at home. But the funny story is my parents always said your dad caught you. So in my mind, as a little kid, I imagined I was like flying through the air. Flying out of your mom's vagina. (laughs) He was in the yard catching me. That was my childhood thought in my head was he caught me. And that was my only like reference, like catching a ball or something. It's kind of special though, to think your dad caught you as uh you were born. Like that's a pretty good feeling. Like you were a football. I was a football. (laughs) Um, Yeah. And he did catch me and... Thank God. Yeah. I know. Well, maybe he didn't. I don't know. <laughs> it's questionable. Well, you're a little messed up, Mark, because your dad didn't catch you. He actually dropped you. Yeah. <laughs> well, we didn't want to tell you, but now there's a cat down in the back. When I was seven, I fell head first out of an apple tree. Oh. Yeah. I'm decently normal, but I'm, I think I had a small impact. Yeah. yeah. My daughter fell out of a tree. Mm-hmm. Yes. 
seven or eight stitches. Oh, really? So I had got... like six in the back. Oh, see? Yeah, in the back yeah. of my head. Oh, that's Like if dangerous. I shave my head, you can see the hole. You know, it's more dangerous to sit your head in the back. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have a feeling. Yeah, I think it's stronger here. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Okay, so I think it's you just stunted your aging process. Whatever yeah. happens. Do you, guys know, do you guys know the movie uh, The Curious Case of Benjamin Button? Yes. yes. That's I'm 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 living that script. <laughs> Every I mean, if you look at you. my college yeah. photos, I look older. Uh, you know. Interesting. Yeah. You're college. You already went through college. I went. Through, I did college. <laughs> I, yeah, I had a whole life before music, believe it or not. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, well. You are 21 and a half, so. 26. I know. I'm just kidding. Oh. Almost 27. Almost 27 in September. Wait a second, because mm -hmm. I was looking at their photos, and I have a picture of you here for your birthday. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. I celebrated so, my wait, birthday Wait, almost here. a year has gone by already? A year, that's it's going to be a year from <sighs> September 3rd. When, I was going to say, when is your birthday? Oh, September my And God. I met you guys, and I started working with John right around my birthday. Virgo. Uh, Virgo. Yeah, Virgo. My husband yeah. is a Virgo. Okay. I'm a fan of Virgos. My stepmom. Yeah. I had a lot of Virgos growing up. I actually don't know much about the horoscope, so I'm not. I'm not too sure what the qualities are of Virgos. But... Um, Virgos are very. Me, women are different than men. Typically, women um, are just different. Um, <laughs> Good explanation. <laughs> um, but I think it's like um, very particular. And yes. Or, and organized yeah. and, you know, but not always organized, okay. but, you know, trying okay. to be organized, but very particular. I think. Yes. Yeah. Because Julian, my son was supposed to be a Virgo, but he came eight days early, which made him a Leo. But so I looked into the Virgo and they are very like specific with their stuff and very organized and mm -hmm. just actually does still have those qualities. Oh, <laughs> that is true. I am free. I'm, I'm the same one. And were you born at home? Uh, no, I wasn't. I was yeah. born in the hospital. See? Yeah. That's normal, Ma. I know. Okay, so you still... Why be normal? Were you a water baby? I keep telling you there was no pool involved. I was not a water baby. It was you just, just flew out of your I mom's vagina out. into the backyard where your dad was playing football with somebody. <laughs> yeah, and he just got me. <laughs> oh, Mars coming. Yeah. All right, here she goes. <laughs> no. But my brother was also born at home. Well, yeah. So it's kind of like I guess a family tradition with my mom, anyways. Yeah, that's. It. I can't imagine that was. Save a lot of money. I guess. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's what they were thinking of. Okay, so that's what your dad does. Yeah. What about your mom? Uh, growing up, she was an art therapist. Oh. So she did therapy with um, kids and also um, with mentally handicapped. By uh, yeah, using like color paint um, to help them express their emotions through like colors. Really? Yeah, I love that. Yeah. My God, oh, yeah, you are well. Look at your parents. Yeah, they're person. good. They're good people. Yeah. Huh? Very good people. What's it like when they get into an argument? It's just like any other two people. Really? Yeah, I still argue. They're but they're both they are they're. they're it but is your mom like? Quick. They're both. I very, want you to put down in color. No, no, she's not. <laughs> she, no, she's Get not. Get the paints. I, I think. I need you to take some herbs first. I need you to take this herb first before you start expressing. Yeah, yeah right. No, there right were now. there was none of the like. It wasn't any of like. So the, they're jostling is, out the door. When with us. When they would get into like an argument. No, but they they're they're very like calm, passive people. I would say they're mm -hmm. not. Yeah, they're very low. I guess you would say like very low ego kind of people. They always, they're not Italian. They actually, actually, I, uh, my, my dad's side is. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, usually they're loud. Yeah. You know? I don't know how much my dad's not. He got, he's pretty quiet. So maybe um, he got like the yep. other half. Yeah. <laughs> the other, the fiery half. Yeah. Yeah. They're not fiery people. That's for sure. Art therapists. Yep. Hmm. Interesting. Very uh -huh. interesting. You grew up in a very cool family. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I had a, I had an interesting upbringing for sure. Awesome. I grew up, uh, in, on pretty much on a farm in New York before I, I moved to Louisville. So it's about nine, so not too far from your, from your teepee. Okay. Am I there yet? And so did you, that, that was actually Am I there yet? really pretty. I knew it. Oh, that was nice. That was, that was good. See? Yeah. Good. The Louisville. more tea I drink, the better I can tell. <laughs> now it's going to get kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. with the... <laughs> it's a little bit. It's going to flow out naturally soon. <laughs> okay. So now tell us about your band. Uh, what do you want to know? You started it. I started the band, yep. You came up with the name, mm -hmm. which is why I That's asked you if you could drink. Right. And um, you, how many people are in the band? We have a guitarist and a drummer. So three um, people. Three people. Okay. But I mean, when it comes to the creation of the music, you, as you probably can see, it's, it's just kind of me in there usually. And then when, um, we, when yes, we take it Yes, because I haven't road, met anyone else in your band. Well, you met Brett. Brett plays the drums. He came in one day. Okay, I don't know. Yeah. But, but yeah, it's uh, I, when it comes to the band, it's when I 
when I when we when we play and when we go on the road. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And are so you touring? No, not right Hello? now. Hello. What? Oh, you're touring? Oh, you're right. Who can tour right now? No one Even can are tour. Yeah. I, you know, I'm just cut. <laughs> Start over. <laughs> Are you planning to tour ever in your life? Yes, by the time quarantine's yeah. over, he'll have three albums done. He's going to do a three album tour. Three album tour. Here's, okay. Call it, here's what you miss. A three album Our tour. tour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Now let's be serious again, right. Mara. Fine. God. God. There's no fun. You don't have to be serious. I like. I like the. Are we like having fun? Yeah. We're having yeah. great time. Are we having fun here? Okay. So, you um are doing another album right now. Yep. You started the band. Mm -hmm. You named the band. Mm -hmm. You're a three piece. Mm -hmm. um, I've, I've heard your new songs. I've heard some new stuff, yeah. Um, and they're amazing. Mm -hmm. So I think everyone's gonna love your music. And um, have you ever fallen off stage? Yeah, I have. Oh, please tell me. I have some, I have some good ones. I have some tell good, me, I have some good please. Um, probably the worst was we had a sh we were playing in Seattle. Uh -huh. And we were playing on a raised stage, so it was the crowd was probably the stage was probably ten feet raised up. Okay. Um, and the crowd, so the crowd was on the platform too, but they were probably I'd say there was like a four foot difference. Okay. Um, and they had separated the stage. You know, how some shows they separate. There's room between the stage and the crowd, and they block it off with a barricade, mm -hmm. so there's kind of a gap. Well, I like to stage dive a lot, and I tried to shoot the gap and and jump to the side um and because the middle was wider mm -hmm. and uh mm -hmm. essentially i jumped into a crowd of which was probably the youngest part of the crowd there were like a bunch of like 14 15 year old girls and <laughs> i just i hit the floor yeah. <laughs> thank you everyone was okay catch you. well i i, I just <laughs> i'm sure it, they got all the way i what i i, I, had, He's to, coming. I had to come pretty quick because i had there was about a sit like a probably a four or five foot gap so i had to jump that gap to get into the crowd and uh i came at it pretty hard yeah are there any videos there's videos yeah there's a video yeah, okay. yeah i'll show you yeah i'll show you yeah you, you, have you can videos? even you can even cut and like we can attach the clip i'll send it to you okay yeah of, it's perfectly on camera did you get hurt i didn't get hurt and no one got hurt and it was really lucky because that's why you i literally funny. yeah i went yeah. Get hurt. <laughs> and i went to the cement like i was when i got up i had thought someone had to have so you have the mic in your hand because you're supposed to be still. The no, same. I dropped the mic. I, I was at the end of the show. I just go for it. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's a really good mic drop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that was the thank end of the show. God, so it's not getting up and singing. You heard like all these girls like crying yeah. and screaming. And... Really? No, you didn't. I didn't bring. Oh. It in the show. <laughs> that one was pretty bad. <laughs> that one was probably the worst. I it actually fell off the stage before. I'm not yeah. a performer. Much <laughs> <laughs> tea. Too much tea, Amy. John was John was playing, and so it was a raised stage. And so if this is the stage, there's a little gap, and then there's the ramp, mm -hmm. right? So I'm at the top of the stage, and the drummer back here like called me over for. Oh no, wait, this is the drummer. Someone over here called me over. It's pitch black, and they make the stage black, so everything's black, right? Mm -hmm. So when it's dark, you can't see anything. And so I walk over, but there's a gap like this. Well, it's probably like this. <laughs> <laughs> And I walked over and I dropped underneath the stage, oh. all tangled in the wires. <laughs> the whole stage, all the lights go out. <laughs> and no one, saw you. No, one no. See, no one saw you? No one. Okay, so I was with the singer of Robic Fish. He's the only oh. one that saw me. <laughs> Thank I'm God. under the stage. And I was like looking, I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. Get out of here. <laughs> and he pulled me up and I was like, don't tell anyone. Anyone <laughs> that that just happened, except and I, I left. Private. Okay, security comes over and he's like, "We heard someone fell off the stage." I was like, "Mom, are you talking about?" <laughs> no, <you're not. laughs> yes, but I have to tell you, the next day, on my butt was black uh, and felt blue it, yeah. because when I fell, my butt, because I kind of got a bubble butt, hit the edge when I went straight down. And thank Ooh. God I was drinking because I went straight down instead of like floundering. I, yeah. I feel like I would have floundered if I was sober. Well, yeah, or stayed really rigid, so you were probably like loose, so you just kind of like yeah, I just dropped. I was like, wait, where am I? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh Tea time. Well, I'm like, I'm like you. Mine did get caught on camera, so I have to reload it all the time. Well, all you would have seen is me, and then I would have disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> so it would have been that exciting. Yeah. Okay, so tell us about the other time. 
Oh, what are the other? I, that's like the worst. I mean, I've fa- fa- yeah, I've like fallen and tripped and like done things that have looked stupid, but that was the worst. Like that was really worthy of someone like sharing it on the internet. <laughs> you know, Dylan or Dylan, um, Darren from Goldfinger, the drummer. I remember him going to stage dive before, and he was going to the middle of the stage, and literally the stage or the crowd separated like this. No. When he was in the air, they all went. Shh. I was like, oh oh my god, he smacked down. I was like, oh my god. Well, that's embarrassing because the crowd, the crowd, like truly said "Uh -uh." we're not going to catch. Like he's a big guy. They tried, they tried to catch it. They at least like tried to catch. The effort was there. I feel way worse if like it was because everyone decided in midair that no, it literally split. That's terrible. It's like the scene from School of Rock. You know when he jumped off the stage. I didn't see that movie. You never seen School of Rock? Oh, Amy. Even I've seen that. Who is the main character? Who's the actor? Who's the actor? Jack Black. Is yeah. it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, it's a great, hey, kudos to It's you. a great movie. To anyone watching who hasn't seen it. I actually haven't seen rock. it probably in at least 10 years. It's probably at least 10 so years. So good. Old. Yeah, it's, it is, yeah. That's but good. it doesn't matter if you like rock music or not. Now, hey. Movie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Ian, thank you. That was amazing. Thank, thank is you. Is there anything this... else you wanted to share? I, I feel like I feel like this you, is like you fantastic. Shared, yeah, you shared it. I do. Okay. Do you have any other little tidbits that you want to share with us? You're um, here. You're making an album. Yeah, we're What's we're too, next? We're... What's next for Ian? That's what I it want to know. It depends on the government. Do not. You know what's put really you know what's really interesting about that is the the album is tentatively uh, titled "I Wonder What's Next." <gasps> Look okay. at that, Mara. But that's pretty incredible. That I was... know. I'm glad I'm back so you guys can do that I thing know. together. We're having that. like a total connection here with yeah. our holistic vibes are happening. I want to say ESPN, them. but that's not that's sports. <laughs> 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 oh, Amy. Well, thank you guys so much for thank having you me for being your show. That yeah. was so fun. I'll take, I'll take two more of these for the road. Okay. All right. So I warned you ahead of time what was going to happen at the end of the show, right? Mm. Well, actually... Oh no, what I does he have do. in store now? Top that tip. Top that tip. <laughs> Is that my tips? I oh. want you to tell us a tip that maybe your mom or dad or you thought of or found out about, and then Mara's gotta top it, and then I gotta top it. Ooh, I top love it. Tip. I so, knew you would. So you need to top like you're giving I better mean, advice. I mean, just tell us a tip. Give it give a tip for something. Um, let's see. The first thing you drink when you wake up should be 15 ounces of water. 15? Mm-hmm. Now, 16 ounces would be two cups. Yep. So a little under two little cups under two is cups. what you're and saying. And it should be room temperature. Mm. And if you really want to get experimental, you can put a go little to, salt in there. Or go to two or, cups, maybe. Or go to two cups. <laughs> <laughs> or go to 16 ounces. <laughs> All right. Okay. Care. All right. And you probably learned that from your dad because he was like, clean out your system when you wake up. Mm-hmm. And a little salt? A little salt, a little, a little sea salt, because you're actually, you're massively dehydrated when you wake up. A lot of people don't realize that that you're like nine hours of of not zero drinking. Fluid. Wait, who sleeps for nine hours? <laughs> it's true, or whatever it is. Uh, great tip. Thank you. That is a great tip. I am going to actually build on that tip. Nope, you just got to top it. I have to top it, but I am going to top it because I do agree with the water. I like to do it warm, actually, mm-hmm. not just room temperature. Oh, nice. I like the salt. I use pink Himalayan salt. I think sea salt will also work just fine. Also, you can add a little cayenne pepper oh, nice. and lemon juice. Mm-hmm. And then you get your vitamin C and you get everything, just everything's fired up for the day. It's very, yes. very good way. It's a nice tonic to start your day. And I've never really paid attention to how much water should be involved because it's hot so maybe it depends on how much you want to drink but i drink water throughout the night so i actually wake up and oh, drink water you. that's awesome do you, do you not have, have, do you not, do you not have to the use the bathroom all night yeah. um sometimes but usually i just have to have like some water like if i wake up i take some sips of water and go back to sleep that's nice i mm-hmm. wish i, I, I probably, probably just also put some better water better. by your bed nice and job. it's a good tip uh oh another tip mara <gasps> two tips um, is to just have a lid with a straw, like get one of those reusable cups with the lid and the straw. With a reusable tired, straw, like reusable a metal straw. one. That's what I mean. You get the reusable cup with the reusable straw, and you have that because when you're all tired, and not paying attention, you don't want to like spill the water on yourself. Because that's happened. Oh 
my god. So you get the straw because then you're just kind of like. Oh my god, that's like your bottle. It's like a sippy cup. <laughs> it's a little bit. It's my water sippy cup. I want my top. I like those to stay tips. hydrated. <laughs> okay, top those tips. So, after you're done cleansing yourself, <laughs> <laughs> you go and get your mug and you fill it with hot water. Insta Hot works great. You fill it with water and then you get either your coffee or your tea stuff ready. Dump out the hot water, put your stuff in, fill it with hot water again, and then you got a really hot drink. Very preheat the mug. <laughs> Perfect. Preheat your mug. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Cheers to that. All right, so I want to thank everyone for joining Calibabes. And don't forget to like, comment, follow, and subscribe. We're Calibabes, and I'm Amy Feldman. I'm Mara Allen. I'm Ian Johnson. Yay! Amazing. Thank you guys. <laughs> Thank you for having me. <laughs>